jump into it quick and fast because I just really want to spend like half an hour on it but I forgot to spend 15 minutes on this this is why I'm not going to be taking any bros how many of our artists are registered members of Recording Academy which makes them eligible to cast a vote jeez and peas and listen to that listen to that people just pass for the cause Bossy say how many of our artists are registered members of the Recording Academy which makes them eligible to cast a vote? I don't hear that. I don't hear that. So let me, let me start by saying this. We as Jamaicans have, and, and this, is, this is me including, you know, I want to listen carefully. You know. I made a comment on the page when me say about um, an hour ago when me say who won best reggae album my, my pause and say what then me my comment was this okay we get the point we get the point see come here say we have in the category Sean Paul Shaggy, Spice, Jesse Royal, Etana. We have five out of the six. Five meaning five Jamaicans, but not five reggae artists. See? We had six reggae artists, because all of them do reggae, reggae dancehall. See? But we had five Jamaicans. And because Jamaica is the mecca of reggae and dancehall, we are expected to have. And Morgan and, 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 and Grams Morgan. How could I forget Grams Morgan? Um, so we are saying. Shaggy wasn't there. It was, it was Grams instead of Shaggy. So not Shaggy, but Grams. Right? So we we're expected. But let me explain something to you. The first light that was shed on this is the fact that, um, yeah, yeah, I, I corrected that. Terrier here. The first thing that we have to look at is the fact that if it is about casting votes, Bose asks the most important question, how many? How many registered artists we have? that can cast a vote that would help another artist who has been nominated to actually win the Grammy. All right? That's one. The second thing is, and this is, this is, is after them win, me listen to them songs. They're reggae songs. They are reggae songs. They are 100% hardcore reggae songs and he will never ask my people him for do because this is the thing that has been pushing us into a major pit seeing lack of information lack of research and being overly passionate about things you don't truly know about because you don't know the inner workings of it you don't know them actually sound decent all right decent is an understatement listen to me carefully listen to me what a group like what a group like um soldier and a group like Revolution, white band members, white people doing reggae, what they have employed is part of what Jamaica has been moving away from and talking down to. I soon wrap up, you know, I just have, I just have said this. I want to make it marinate, because I'm not going to argue with nobody upon this. See? Because, like I said, um, a hour ago, 
I felt the same way you guys felt about being passionate and upset. But listen. In recent years, one of the things that Jamaica has, remember say, Jamaica, remember say, dancehall and reggae has been taken from the Grammy thing and then now put in Afrobeat. Because we've been losing our way, but when we talk, like the older people talk, them say, we have shut them out because we are dinosaur of it with Ray. So when the fiber of the thing are deteriorate, we never there know. We never they pay attention because we have the younger youth, them arise against we. And I said, well, if we shut them out, we time pass and read. And if them they are listen, they will be applying what is needed to make these great albums. See? To be Grammy worthy. Not only Grammy worthy, but we would, we would understand that we have to have enough people enough artists, enough Jamaican artists registered to be able to vote for our people then. Now, I walk come over the studio and I say to Sil, and I say, Sil, that group is soldier. Who them? Sil put me for sit down and say, okay, let me tell you something about soldier. First thing is the group has been around from 1998. Yeah? Vietnam on. Vietnam on. The group has been around from 1998. When young Jamaicans, some of them, not about all of them, when some of them go around the foundation people, the still. Sil, the, the, something, the, 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 the thing that you sent to me, you can just make me, oh. what you sent to me, more, more I read it, more I read something to me. Okay. Can we just, may I give you a moment for go back, for, for, go, for go meditate on certain things, see, listen to this, congratulations to the 2022 Grammy winners soldier in the reggae category. Also extended congratulations to the Jamaican engineer for the band Soji Hamilton. Soji Hamilton. Soji Hamilton is this gentleman's mentor. Soldier Hamilton is already responsible for two Grammy Awards. More than two. This is one of them that himself and Mr. Gordon worked on. This is one of the Grammys that he's responsible for. More than two Grammy Awards. The gentleman on the right is Mr. Sil Gordon. The gentleman on the left is Soldier Hamilton. Why am I telling you this? I am telling you this because he is one of the foremost top-notch engineers in Jamaica. One of the persons responsible for the development and establishment of reggae right around the world. It don't get no better than Soji Hamilton. He's the mentor of Mr. Sil Gordon, who already have two Grammy and a gold record on them belt. So what did Soldier do? They applied the heart to the music. Mrs. Scatter put up something and Scatter said, a people without knowledge of their past history is like a tree without a root. Them now go around the thing. If you take soldier voice off of the rhythm, it's 100% reggae. If you take them, you just take them voice off of it and forget to say some white youth to sing. 
it remains 100 with a sound that is 100% Jamaican because them go for the heart of the thing for work with it. Them, I know the youth, them, where I say, them, I know the youth, them, where I say, them, man, they're old man now. Them, man, they forgot to sit down. That is what is happening in Jamaica. That is what has been happening in Jamaica. Run the old man, them, forgot to sit down and shut them out. That's so J. Hamilton from, listen, me sit down and talk to the man. Me sit down and talk to the man for 45 minutes before me come to the live here. Still call him in. Me talk about from Channel One days, you know, who has been around Sly and Robbie, who has been around Aini Kamosi, who has been around Black Uhuru, that who has been around Shabarangs, who is now presently Bujo Bantan's chief engineer. So listen, before we fly up in our feelings, Right, before we fly up in our feelings, make we find out what is happening. Revolution is the next white band. You know who is Revolution's chief engineer? Errol Brown. Who was Bob Marley's engineer? So them understand, we're white. We're white. Maybe we can't, s we voice never sound like a, a Jamaican, but we're gonna make sure that so the music enough respect is put into the music that if we take a voice off of it, it is going to be 100% reggae music. It don't get no better than that. I'm overs, so people inner them feelings and people upset, but go do some research, past soldier. Go do some research with them. Soji Hamilton spent five years as their engineer. Five years. And that is why his name can come up in a them, in a them congratulations thing. Because they are using the heart when we are stray from it. We gonna some things where you call trap and ray and blay and some holy for something. We're gone. We're gone now that's something there. So let us stop and see. When an engineer sit down round, that's the magician. Just like how when me shoot something, the magic come when the editing happen. And the music is put on it. That is the last thing. Yo, lock the city. May I tell you, brother, I tell you, for real, after nine days, how much artists are going to truly run, go make sure, say, all right, if I can be a part of the recording industry, upon a certain level, we can vote if a, if a, if a reggae, um, a, a, a local reggae album make it to the Grammys. We day hear a, a blow steam, but we can't, it coming like in a, in, a, in a politics when we run up a moat about how we politicians deal with it, but we not cast a vote. We can't cast a vote for keep them in or, or, or push them out. But we, 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 we are blow off steam. It no make no sense. It no make no sense. So Jana just come. And me just hear about them. So J. Hamilton say, them youth here, we, them don't have to have a popular song for you to know. But they are touring Australia, they are touring South America, they are shut down Europe. They are all over the place and they are doing good music that is selling. People are buy it. People are come at them concert. Them alone are pull out 30, 40,000 people for come see them. And we have damaged our music so much that Grammys now have nothing to do with it again. Because it's feel good music. I come from um, Afrobeat, bouncy dancing music. While we out here are talk about chopper, and how much you would forget shot, 
and how much boy you gonna feel me cane at him face and re 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 so when we take ourselves out of the race now who do we blame I don't know that I would call it cultural appropriation because I see cultural appropriation as people that don't give back. Them big up Jamaica. They talk about Jamaica and they have not changed anything. Me see people come at Jamaica, take things, carry it, go change it and use it as a commodity for make money off and them don't give back. Them are the people when me say I deal with appropriation. But if our own, what do what are what do we call our local people them that disrespect and show absolute disregard for the persons who were there before and say them them a dinosaur and them for go sit down and them want take the music and switch it up and do them own thing with it and and can't can't even explain the base of it. What do we call those? Should they win because them black? Should they win just because they're Jamaicans? Or should we win because we are observing all the protocols? So just said to me, say, Jamaica is alive and well. Jamaica is alive and well. I'm uh, um, not Jamaica. Reggae is alive and well in Jamaica. The problem is the ones who are supposed to help and distribute the music to the to the four corners of Jamaica for people to hear good music. They are not doing their jobs. They are promoting other things. They are promoting watered down version of what we are doing. And we are afraid to speak. We want we are afraid to speak because we don't want the youth them say we're bad minded and we're old and we're sitting down in a corner. So we are we 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 want to save our um pride and we know and I'm not with nobody. So the thing that puts food on our table and the thing that, that gives us peace in our soul, we don't we, we watch people tear it down and don't say nothing. Don't blame soldier. Soldier find soldier. Soldier work with, 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 with gentleman as well. It's while in there work with gentleman that soldier saw him and say, Listen, we want a son here. Me I talk about a man that is high um, in, in, in his beliefs in God and has done a number of gospel things. When you use a merge and mix with the Jamaican dance hall reggae feel and get the full authentic song. I hear you, classy, but what are we going to do about it? Do we just sit back and say that is always going to happen, or do we find a way to educate the people around me? Because that is where. We spend a whole heap of time talking about the problem and not trying to find a solution. You know? we, we, we talk about the problem. This is the problem. That is the problem. And this is why we, why we can't do it. Who are the ones responsible for bringing the youth them to the table and, 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 and telling them, say, all right, this is the not just dance business and music business, but the business of. And this is how you approach it. At what point? Miss Firehouse, thank you. There's no, there, there, we, we are afraid to speak because like me say, one set I say, them all them for go sit down and re re re. Nobody, we, we, we see soldier, we see, we see soldier out there, but we don't do enough research for see say, oh, soldier's complete backbone is, is Jamaican. Them complete backbone. 
their complete backbone is yard from 1998 so them hone them sound but them whole backbone them not try recreate it them find who can do it already and just put it out there never move on now but listen people do some research do some research these people are working with hardcore Jamaican people we need to wake up we need to understand what we have and we need to revert to the base to move forward because highlighting the problem never help we finding solutions will all right 737 let us um boy type something at me add it to the live and all a quick reason with a my taylor aka Winge expressions one of the founding members I get marrying it now the spirit little bit people the whole world know we know them know we stay give this four more days you know here nobody with that kind of anger and really, who, who them people are who them you me never know them never research them who them who them white boy are? this is a slap in the face who is it right? don't ask who them you they ask who is so j hamilton ask that question that is what we need